Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about the recent net neutrality ruling by the FCC. I'm Chad Hill and I'm joined by Adam Stetzer. Yeah, good afternoon, Chad. Net neutrality is a pretty hot topic. A lot of people have been watching this very closely. And as expected, the FCC put out some statements and rulings on the open Internet uh, that people are digesting in the news. And the rules call for, and what they've published, equal treatment for all legal content traffic. So that's sort of been the headline. But as people have digested, Chad, what's really going on, it doesn't sound as decisive as we might hope because they didn't really ban the ability for providers uh, for access to the Internet to offer pay for faster access, which has been at the heart of this debate, the so-called pay for fast lanes to get your content through quicker. So there are many still concerned that this leaves the door open for inequality on the internet, uh, further division between the big corporations that have a lot of money can pay for fast lanes and those who do not. And protesters are calling for regulation of the internet more as a common carrier, Chad, which would treat it more like a utility. And the interesting history here is that until 2002, internet lines were regulated as if they were a utility under Title II of the Communications Act, which treated it much like the telephone networks. And that all changed in 2002 under Bush when the internet lines were deregulated. The ISPs were given a lot more freedom to do what they want, which brings us to today's news. It really does, and I, and I think one of the things that, that in, is in this is that you know the, there's a flip side too, Adam. There's people concerned about the the the, the lack or the, what would happen if these fast lanes existed, but there's also people who are worried that stricter regulation will discourage investment uh, in bringing broadband to more people. So one of the things that we key in on here is the fact that the FCC chairman, Tom Wheeler, uh, announced two things that are very important. So these are two quotes from him. I will not allow the national asset of an open internet to be compromised. And the second one is the prospect of a gatekeeper choosing winners and losers on the internet is unacceptable. So certainly you hear in those quotes that he definitely it seems to at least say that this idea of the gatekeepers and the fast lane is not good, but as you mentioned, Adam, the rules left the door open. So where we are going now is that we're going into some the next four months there will be open comments where they'll be gathering feedback from all the different um, sides. And this is really a critically important thing for all of us who are involved in the internet either as consumers or as, as business operators for a couple reasons these changes will dictate how the internet works going forward and for consumers it could mean things like higher fee, higher costs uh, in order to offset some of the increased fees so for example if Netflix has to pay a, a fast lane charge they may pass some of that charge onto you, us as consumers and the other one as a content provider the big concern is that it will certainly favor the large companies who can pay these extra fees for faster access at the expense or at the detriment of smaller startups who are trying to be nimble and take advantage of how much the internet allowed people to very quickly enter and get massive distribution. So definitely a very interesting story here, Adam. Yeah, we'll keep watching it. And as you really think about these points, Jed, it is quite fascinating. This, you know, this idea that the big companies can control access, I think, is distasteful to a lot of folks and certainly understandable as you work through those points. But also, as you think about experiences with utilities, uh, such as the gas company or the phone company, particularly before deregulation, those were pretty nasty, bad experiences. So I think we can all see that competition has some advantages, too. So not an easy issue uh, by any stretch. It will be very interesting to stay tuned to this one. Uh, that's our brown bag coverage of the net neutrality ruling that's coming out. I'm sure we'll be shooting more in the future. We appreciate you joining us today. We hope you'll leave us a comment and subscribe to our videos. <laughs> <laughs>